Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 14 again. So of course, iOS 14 has a ton of new features. Most of them are known, but there are a lot of them, a lot of tricks and hidden features that you probably don't know about. So in this video, I will show you guys 17 of those hidden tricks that you probably didn't know existed on iOS 14. First off, we're talking about the app library. Now, this is one of my favorite features of iOS 14 and probably the one that I've used the most on these days. So app library has some like gestures that you can use to basically browse here faster, go easier in and out of the app library. So for example, let's say you want to search for an app. You don't have to reach there to go to the search bar. All you have to do here is just swipe down and you're on the search bar. You want to get out of here, just go ahead and swipe like this. Now, if you're on the search bar and you want to go to the home screen, just swipe like this and bam, you're on the home screen as easy as that. And right here on the app library, you can also go to the edit mode or jiggle mode, however you want to call it, just on any blank space here, tap and hold and you're on the edit mode. Now you can do the same here within apps, within like folders, go ahead, tap and hold anywhere here and you will go into the edit mode. Now, another thing is that when you go to delete an app on your home screen, so let's go quickly to the home screen. You can see right here, if I want to delete an app, tap remove app, it will give me this option to move it to the app library or delete, tap delete, another pop up right here. So it will take quite a few steps to delete an app from the home screen. You want to delete apps quicker, you just go right here to the app library, just go to the edit mode. And from here, you can go ahead and quickly tap right there and just get the delete button right away and easier delete any app you want. A really cool new feature on iOS 14 is the ability to rename Bluetooth devices. Now you could do this before with like AirPods or like Apple products, I believe, but now you can do that with any Bluetooth device that you have connected to your iPhone. So here I have a mouse connected, this one right here. All I gotta do is just go ahead and go to the Bluetooth section under the settings app, tap that little I button right there, go to the name here, and I can just go ahead and rename this any way I want. You can see, just click done and you're gonna rename any Bluetooth device. A very, very cool feature of iOS 14 are captions. You can add captions to your photos, but did you know that you can also search based on captions? So right here, I have searched for test and you will notice here that all the photos that have been found have the test caption. So if I go right here to this one, you can see it has that caption. So just go ahead, go to the search bar on the photos app and just search for a caption and it will exactly find that photo. A really cool new feature of iOS 14 that I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know about is that now you can use Siri to send audio messages. So all you have to do is just launch Siri and ask her to send an audio message to one of your contacts. Send an audio message to test. Then just go ahead and record the message that you want to send, the audio message. And then of course, once you're done, Siri will send that as an audio message. So here it's done now. Great. Send it to test. And you can see we have the message right there okay, and we can just go ahead and send that message to that contact. So an audio message using Siri. Now with the automations on iOS 14, now you will have a pretty cool automation to make. You have here personal automations, you go ahead and scroll down and choose charger. So the best thing is when you plug in, in your iPhone to charge, you want to turn on low power mode so it consumes less battery, of course, that way it will charge faster. So here you can choose connected or disconnected. So when it's connected, you tap next, add an action and we can set here low power mode on. So just search for low power mode. So here we have low power mode, tap right there, click on, click next, don't ask before running, click done. Now every time you plug in your charger, it will turn low power mode on, that way it will basically just charge your iPhone faster. You can create another one right here with the same automation charger, but now for when disconnected, so when it's disconnected, this time you will choose low power mode off. So whenever you plug it, plug out your iPhone, it will just turn off low power mode automatically. On iOS 14, now we have pinned conversations. So any conversation, whether that's a group conversation or another conversation, you can go ahead and pin them at the top of the list. And there's a very, very easy way to pin them. Just go ahead, 3D touch on any conversation and you can just place it right there at the top. You wanna unpin it, just go ahead, force touch on it and drag it down here. 
as easy as that. You can also go ahead and rearrange the pinned conversation. So just three to touch there. You can see you can move them any way you like and go ahead and basically like rearrange your pinned conversation as easy as that. Now with iOS 14, Apple has added a very neat feature on the iMessage app on the group conversations. Now you can do like inline replies. So you reply to a specific message on that group conversation. Now here you can see I have two replies on this one. So what you want to do in order to do that is go ahead and 3D touch on the message to which you want to reply, tap reply. And as you can see now, it will bring that down. And you can go ahead and reply to that specific message. On the iPhone on iOS 14, of course, now we have widgets on the home screen, but you still have the widgets here on the widgets panel. So let's say you have a widget here and you want to move it to the home screen. Now, all you have to do is just 3D touch on it and just go ahead and drag it like this. And you can just place it basically anywhere you want on the home screen of your device. As easy as that, just drag it, place it anywhere where or let's say you have it like a widget here on the home screen you want to remove it and you want to place it right here on the panel again the same thing just go ahead drag it and replace basically go ahead and just drag it here and you will have now that widget placed right here under the widgets panel so you can see there like a glitch but here it is the widget has been moved as easy as that now when adding new widgets to your home screen you go ahead tap right here to add a widget iOS will automatically add it just somewhere on the home screen on that page where you're at, but it will like mess up your apps and all of that. So what I suggest you do, don't tap this button, just tap and hold here, just drag it. And now you will have the ability to manually go ahead and place this wherever you want. So if you have like a lot of apps here, then you will have the option to basically move it around and place it anywhere you like. On the notes app, now you will have the ability to rearrange notes. So you go to any folder of notes, tap right there on the three dots and now you can go ahead and sort notes so you will have here all the stimulus title date created date edited or default so you just go ahead and pick here you can do the same on the notes folder and anywhere you want on any folder on the notes app now, if you take like a screenshot or something on your device and you go to the markup tools here if you go to the colors and go ahead and pick a color here or maybe like pick a color with a color picker, the new color picker of iOS 14. Now, once that color has been selected, you can just tap the plus button. And you can see right here, it will add that color here to the panel and this will be saved. So in the future, whenever you go to this panel here to basically mark up something, you will still have that color there. So here we go. You can see the color is saved and we can use that whenever we want. So that's really, really cool. You can basically save there any color that you see anywhere like on a screenshot or anywhere you're marking up. You probably have seen the shape recognition feature. That looks really, really cool. Of course, it will make all the shapes that you draw look very good. That works on screenshots, but it also works on other apps as well. Like right here on the photos app, you want to mark up a photo, you can do that with shape recognition. Just tap right there, tap on markup. And of course you will have here shape recognition. So just go ahead and choose another color here. So you just go ahead and draw anything, tap and hold, and you will have shape recognition right here. So that's really, really awesome. So basically shape recognition will work anywhere you're marking up. Like maybe if, even if you're like on a note, on a photo, anywhere, you will still be able to use shape recognition. There is the new translation app on iOS 14. With that translation app, you will be able to translate even though your device might not be connected to the internet. But first of all, go to settings and enable on device mode right here. Then go to the app and what you need to do is tap here on one of the languages. It will show you the list here to select from a few different languages that are available. But if you scroll down, you will see right here available offline languages. So what you need to do here any language that you want to use offline, you need to go ahead and download these. Another really great feature of this app is that if you scroll all the way down here, you will find automatic detection. So if you turn this on, Translate will automatically de detect the language which is being spoken and that way will make it very, very easy for you to translate anything you want. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some really amazing tricks that you can find on iOS 14 that probably you didn't even know existed. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.